<laughs> Let me play it. Put this on you. Look at this. Sam. Hello. This is my buddy Sam. Hi, Sam. Okay. So so Sam uh, Sam is staying uh, with us for a bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I'll put uh, this away and I can grab that out of your yeah, hand. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. You take... I see you have um, a little squirrel on you. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Let's see here. Hey, everybody. Kevin. Uh, oh, I see a piece of tape. Oh. Wait, a minute, wait, a minute, come here. Okay, come here, come here. No, no, no. Okay. I got there it. You, go. you got it? All right. Okay, everybody. Hey. Oh, we got it? Okay. All right. Hey. We take a breath, right, Monica? We're going to take a breath. So here's what's going on, everybody. Hey, welcome to the Sunday live stream on YouTube. Okay. And if you haven't tuned in lately, all righty, and you're like, oh my God, Nuts the Squirrel is back. No, no. Have you seen this one? Have you seen, have you seen, uh, Nikki? Uh, I saw her on Instagram. She's so sweet. Right? No, it's a he. Okay. He. All right. And you just, <laughs> if you just saw, right? Okay. So everybody, the story, we're going to do a quick story. Then we're going to let Monica chill, right? For a minute. Marie Stubbs says hello. Oh, Marie Stubbs. Hi, Marie Stubbs. Thanks for watching. Okay. So I don't know if you know the story, um, Marie, everybody. So this little guy, what are the odds? Uh, twice right monica mm -hmm. and four months are you kidding me all righty this little guy named is a boy see and uh this little boy would come to me a week ago tuesday so nuts the squirrel who was with us for four months right so about five weeks ago nuts decided that that she wanted to maybe go start a family and stuff right mm. okay come on over here monica okay okay and this here is uh sam's dog okay whose name is maya Right here, pal. Okay. Hi, Maya. Hi, it's Maya. Sweet as can be. Okay. Sweet as can be. <laughs> Hi, baby. This is Sam, everybody. Hello. Say hi, Sammy. Hi, Sam. Right. How so are Sam, you? Sam's a Thank good you. friend. Sam, what do you do for a living? Florist. What? I'm florist. Look at that. Okay. Oh, it's beautiful. Right. Isn't that something? Right. Pretty darn cool. Right. And Maya has taken really good to um, Rocky and Piper and uh, and the tortoises. Right. <laughs> okay. And uh, Monica, let me see. You're wearing something really kind of. <laughs> look at look at her. I see your fashion. Absolutely. Right. Look at this. Right. Okay. Right. Come on over. Look at. Okay. So my name for for Monica <laughs> is the world famous name of Moon Boots Monica. Look at that. Right. Okay. Hello, Moon boy. Boots. That's our marmalade over there. Hello, okay. Marmalade. And running around. So Tracy Wells. Hey Tracy, if you're watching. So Moon Boots Monica. Come here, Moon Boots Monica. Come on, right? baby. Maya. Right, Hello. Maya, right here. Okay. Excuse me. Come on over, right? Come on over. Flip the camera so you and me can both be on mm -hmm. camera. Right, I got to get this little boy up here. Where are we at? How oh. do you flip it up? Marie Stubbs, fashionista. That's right. <laughs> See that? Fashionista. That, that's her. So look at this, everybody. Boom. What are you going to see here? Okay. I think it's reverse, which is fine, but you guys know it says tortoise land. And here's an exciting thing happening. So in the next week or less, you're going to be able to go to tortoiseland.org. Our website is being built. So that <laughs> that's the website for uh, for for the, our nonprofit named Tortoise Land, right? Okay. <laughs> and right after that, we're uh, we're rebuilding uh, the tortoiseguy.com. So why is that cool? Well, because we can update on on tortoiseland.org. We're going to be able to show you all the tortoises that are available for rehoming, mm -hmm. all the latest nice. news, and guess what? You're going to be able to order. <laughs> Looks way better on her. <laughs> Look at this. The waistline. Are you kidding me? I can't. I can't do that. <laughs> right. So we got some cool stuff happening. Right. Here we go. You want to chill? Go. Go set your stuff down and okay. stuff. You sure? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm so appreciative to Monica, everybody. Right. So what's going on with this little squirrel? Because I gotta put him away. Okay. Because why? So so a week and a half ago. Alrighty. Oh, come on. All right. A week and a half ago. Oh, there's Elongo. And I'm gonna, we're going to, if Tracy Wells is watching, we have a really cool thing happening with Elongo, the elongated, critically endangered, and punk. Have you, have you, you know about that, Monica? Uh-uh. Yeah. Okay. Let's just say it's a role reversal. Okay. Oh. How about, right? <laughs> right? We're between Elongo, right? Oh, they're both here. Elongo's Look at this. Punk, punk. No, no, no. Elongo here. Like the. Oh. Oop. <laughs> okay. Oh, because of the chain. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. All righty. Okay. Wait. Okay. What happened? Wait. What happened to? Wait. 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 Okay. Hold on. What happened? What happened to? Wait. We gotta find. 
Would you know where she is? Okay. Well, you look for her and I'll. Yeah, yeah. Oh, all right over there. I see. Okay. Scared to death. Right here. Hi, honey. Come no. on. Come on. Come on. All right. We had in it. Okay. Come on. Come on. I know. Come on. Oh, my God. Okay. That was scary. <laughs> hey, everybody. That was scary. Alrighty. So the umbrella fell. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna put this beautiful kid away. Okay. Yeah. Time we for just her to go back her. in her. Okay. But I just want to tell you the story. I know. Yes. Come in. Okay. The story <laughs> is that that this little I know. You hear that? We scared you so bad. All right. So um, what happened is a week ago Tuesday. So like I said, nuts the squirrel has been gone for. Take, take a deep breath. That was scary. <laughs> that was scary. Everyone's okay. Look who's eating uh, the flowers that he's making. <laughs> 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 the rose petals, right? Uh -huh. Right? Okay. Oh, that was scary. So, Nuts the Squirrel, if you've been watching, you know, five weeks ago, Nuts decided to go maybe start a family. We haven't seen her. So, what are the odds? Never in my life have I had a squirrel. <laughs> How about you, Monica? Never, no. ever, 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 <laughs> ever, right? So the first squirrel nuts was injured really bad, right? We took we took her in, Rocking Piper and me, and nursed her to health, and then she was inseparable, okay? Okay. <laughs> then now she's out with the family. Maybe this little guy is 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 nuts' his kid, because she's been gone for quite a while, right? Maybe she decided I'll go start a family. Mm -hmm. So we could go Tuesday. My tenant, who lives right there, named Nick. 6 a.m. says Kevin. Kevin knocks on the door and he has this little tiny, way tinier than this, like 10 days ago. Okay, <laughs> Find, said he found this little guy in the park or uh, in on the road in the gutter, and his dog grabbed it, and he got it away from his dog, right? And 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 he's okay. So um, <laughs> so he's like Kev, you know. So of course I took this one in. This one's so little that that needed to be um, eyedropper fed. Okay. I drop her fit. And now guess what? Is now getting weaned and has never been active like this. So I thought on camera here, come here. We got some grass to say we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do some fun things and teach you some stuff today if you're new to the channel about about the tortoises and what we do. Everything okay, Sam? We found, we got her. Okay, we got him. So we're okay. All right. All right. See oh. this? <laughs> I was going to let you see if Should I can we give, put her in her. Yeah, we're going to put. But let's see if she'll take, <laughs> take some milk. Okay. Let's see. So he's been he's been being syringe fed. Right. But now now he's such a big boy. Let's see. You going to try it? Let's see. You going to try it? <laughs> such a big boy, huh? He's, like, he's eating on his own. Right. So I don't think he's going to do it. Right. Let's see. I'll try one more time. We'll try one more time, then we're gonna put you away. Okay. So when I came this morning to feed feed him, guess what? He was hey, oh there you go. He's like, I'm too excited. You wanna try? This is this is uh, puppy replacement milk. Okay. So I googled. Oh, see, he's just too, huh? You're too, too, too. All right. So we're gonna put him away. Okay. <laughs> okay. But this is puppy replacement milk, everybody. Okay. We gotta put him in his pen. For his own good, because here's what, unlike Nuts, unlike Nuts who was really severely injured and stayed with me because she had to, this guy is more of a wild squirrel. You can see that, right? And I don't dare, if he jumps down, he's not going to know to come back. And he's too little, right? Mama hasn't taught him how to, how to stay away from predators or anything, right, pal? So we're going to go put him back. But what are the odds, everybody, twice, twice in four months that a baby squirrel would come to tortoise land, right? So let's go put him back. All righty? Let's go put him back. Right? I know. Come at you. Right here, okay? Right here. Let's see. Boom. Right down. You got to go down. And now he doesn't want to go in either. <laughs> right? So how about that? In like 10 days, he went from, oh my God, so tiny, you wouldn't believe it. Right? Just loves to hang in his little blankies. Come here, you. Watch this. Watch. Come here, Monica. Look. There he goes, right? He's still a baby. Look, yeah, okay? There's a heated pen. Look at You go in there. Watch. You go in. Yeah, you go. Okay? You go in there. Yeah. Watch. He's going to grab some food. Want to bet? Yeah, let's see. Okay? I give him walnuts and all kinds. Of, show, show us what you're going to eat. Look at this, right? Look at all right. So I knew nothing about raising uh, squirrels, everybody. Okay. I knew nothing about it. Thank God for Google. And... Okay. Just found something you like. Okay. <laughs> I also put in carrots and some veggies and some greens. Right. And uh, pretty remarkable, right? In such a short time, 
Yes. Yeah. I'm going to give you more. Hey, there's all kinds of stuff in here, pal. Yeah, you just got to dig through it. Look at it. Just dig through that. All kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff. You got walnuts, huh? You got everything you want, right? Right there. There you go. Right there. All right, we're going to let them be, right? Almonds. Who doesn't like almond? Maybe almond milk. Let me put this in the fridge, okay? All righty. Look who's looking. Go say hi to... You got a mic on, so you can... Uh, Right? I'm going to bring some t-shirts out, Monica. That. Right? Okay. Hello. I'm not right, sure yeah, what this see. one's name is. Hey. Okay. okay. Hey, Monica. Yes? Come on in here. Look, go over to the couch. See if you can get somebody to growl while I grab some t-shirts. <laughs> okay. okay. Hey, one thing you might notice in the house here, what's not in here, incubators. Oh. Because the eggs that, but we're gonna see a miracle baby in a minute, okay? But but what uh, what you're not seeing is the incubators. Why? Because the the ones that were remaining, they're way past their due time, so we don't have them anymore, okay? Mm -hmm. You know, alrighty. So right now we are back to tortoise land without babies, except for one. Go see who's on the couch. Who doesn't want to come out and say hi? Is it Cray Cray Rocky? Oh, it might be. It is. We have Wi-Fi still, though, right? Yeah. All right. Come on. You see the tortoises are eating the roses? They do? The rose petals, yeah. So oh. so any that you don't want, just put on the ground. They were they were chomping on them, oh, the ones that were wonderful. left over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rose petals are super nutritious, everybody. Okay? You know, just like you have rose tea, right? Rose tips tea, right? Okay? So Toys Lab, we did a nice cleaning yesterday. I want to show you something really cool. That's uh, what what Monica's wearing, what I'm wearing, okay, and what's coming. Yeah, Sam, look, take a look at this. Right, look at, look what they're doing. Look what they're eating. Okay, <laughs> all right. Yeah, roses, yeah, everybody. Yeah. Okay, rose petals, uh, rose petals, rose leaves, hibiscus uh, flower. Yeah. So see this stuff. We can take this out, okay? Right? We can take this out and give it to everybody, okay? So as long as it's not treated with pe uh, pesticides, everybody, okay? That, you know, I pick them right in the neighborhood. That's what we do, right? Okay, speaking of picking in the neighborhood, everybody, first off, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. We got some cool stuff going on. We had a, an amazingly cool visitor yesterday. I'm going to tell you about it. Alrighty, and there's a whole fun video series that came out yesterday. It's a four part uh, that I brought, we brought some tortoises to the vet, okay? Including Bobby, a desert tortoise, uh, and, uh, and Eternity came, uh, and we did all that together. So there's a fun four part series of, of Eternity coming with Bobby, because Bobby's out where they live in La Puente. Can you say La Puente, Monica? La Puente. Turn it around. Are you? Do you have? Uh, what kind of heritage do you have? La Puente. La Puente. <laughs> Where are you from, Monica? Oh, oh what's your heritage? Where mm. are you from? You're from here. <laughs> what? Huh? I'm from Earth. And from where? Earth. Earth. <laughs> Earth? <laughs> You're an Earthling. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm Me half, too. I'm half Mexican and half white. Okay. <laughs> and uh, and do you speak Spanish? I don't. Okay. I don't either. <laughs> Well, a little bit, right? Um, but anyways, <laughs> I think you speak so, it better than me, <laughs> right? So, so, so Bobby's out in La Puente, and if uh, and Tracy Wells, if you're here, I want to show you the coolest, funny thing with Elongo, the elongated tortoise, and Punk. It's pretty cool. Now, speaking of, of raw stuff, so look at right. These guys are enjoying the rose petals. See that? Okay, rose petals, rose petal leaves. These, I don't know what these are, so we're going to get them out of here, okay? If you don't know what the plan is, don't give it to your tortoises, okay? Oh, look at this, everybody, okay? So here's the babies, okay? And uh, so, Monica, we haven't seen, right? Have, have, did we see you last week? Um, at the jazz festival two weeks ago. Yeah, right? Well, tell them about the jazz off the hook, right? It was so fun and such a great turnout. So many people. Right, right, <laughs> right, everybody? So we were at the Lamert uh, Park Jazz Festival. It's really something. It's our first time we were invited to a public event. And it's a huge public event, right, Monica? It was so busy, yeah. Tell us, tell us. <laughs> what, 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 right? Yeah, it was so busy. There were... 
I mean, the tent we was, had. always had people in it. I, I wish we would have counted how many people. Hundreds. <laughs> Probably hundreds. Well, no, hundreds of people, right? Yeah. So guess what? So if you're a Patreon member, you can see, you get a preview of the event, okay? Because, uh, because Patreon members for a dollar. Mm -hmm. Patreon.com backslash the tortoise guy, right? Because we need your help. We need we need your support financially. And uh, and so as an incentive to that, even one dollar a month gets you the videos no one else gets. And what about if you spend more? Then you get more. If you spend five bucks, you get a cool tortoise guy sticker. Ten bucks, you get a, a coffee cup that's unknown there. Uh, at 25 bucks, you get a t-shirt that is the tortoise guy. So those are being made. And then tortoise land is our nonprofit, right? Mm -hmm. So so please join patreon.com backslash the tortoise guy. So yesterday, who came and visited? You don't even know. Who? Diane Robertson, who started, organized, and, and is the director of the... Uh, uh, the jazz festival. Oh, she nice. came yesterday. Yeah. She was so impressed, and she called a Tuesday after, and she said, "And uh, she said, you guys rocked it, you crushed it, okay, and and you're coming back next year." And we had a huge tent, and she said, "You're getting a bigger tent, nice, and you're going to be more prominently placed." We were in the kids zone, but they're moving where the kids zone was. She was that thrilled, so she came yesterday, met all the tortoises, okay, met Shy Girl, who's the mama. No, this isn't even Shy Girl. <laughs> okay, this is this was the star of the show, Monica. Who would it be? Digger. Digger, yeah. Okay, Digger, absolutely the star of of the of the jazz festival. Okay, why? Because this girl, and I knew she was gonna be. She's Max's kid, right? The son of Max, the gentle giant of tortoise lamp. Over here. Let me show you. And if you don't know who Max is, you gotta watch the videos, watch the playlist. This man. This tortoise started everything for me from tortoise land, okay? Rescued him when he was about this size, actually, okay? Like 14 years ago. He was trapped in a restroom of a pet store. Somebody dumped him. The woman running the pet store didn't know what to do. So I opened the, I went to the restroom to use it, and this guy's covered in drywall, eating all the drywall. Oh, here comes Punk, okay? So there comes Punk, so I'm gonna show you in a minute Punk versus Elongo, okay? Well, you're like, what are you talking about? Punk versus Elongo? Well, let's see, right here. Now this, there's Punk, right? The Mediterranean Menace. Hi, Punk. All right, this is our beautiful one and only Mediterranean Menace. Tracy Wells, are you on? This is for you, and uh, for anybody that's been following the adventures of Punk, okay? Punk is a Mediterranean tortoise, very similar to a Russian, okay? Very similar to a Greek, kind of in the same area. And what's special about Punk? Why is Punk called Punk? Why, Monica? Because he's a little punk. <laughs> Say that again. Because he's a little punk. He's a total little punk, right? <laughs> total little punk. And he smacks everybody around. But guess what? He has met his match. This is Elongo. This is Shelly, the elongated tortoise. I want to talk about beaks. For, I'm all over the place today, people. And Monica keeps track of time for us. So we have a video coming out. I want to show you. Look at the beak of Shelly. So you see how it's uh, growing over? Can you see? How the, yeah, it's a beak? little bit blurry. Hold on. Oh, is that, you know what? Because one of the lenses is cracked. There we go. Right there. Yeah, She's one of the fine. lenses is cracked, people. So forgive us, right? Can it you hear us okay? Is my, is my mic blue? Yeah, you're good. So, okay, great. Okay, so look at I want to show you about the beak. You see that? Yeah. So what happens? You got and you got to watch this, everybody, with your tortoises. So you know, in nature, um, like Shelley would be eating a lot more rocks and stuff, okay, and things that are hard, and that keeps the beak shaved down, okay. Not unlike a squirrel or rodent, you know, that needs to chew all the time. And so what can happen in captivity, right? I don't like the word captivity. What can happen here, like a tortoise land and stuff, is that that beak starts growing long. So we have a video coming out that shows you we filed, you have to file down the beak, okay? It's not hard to do, and you need to do it because you need to keep track of that, because if that beak is too long, they're gonna have trouble eating, right? And if it gets really long, they're not gonna be able to eat, okay? We're so, at 20 minutes. 20 minutes, okay. So, so what I wanna show you is, let's see if I can find Elongo, okay? Because we got Punk, and so it's Punk versus Elongo, okay? There's been a whole unbelievable what, what happened Okay, about a month ago, alrighty, and then we're going to talk about the babies for a sec. Kevin's all over the place today. It's okay, so after maybe 15 minutes from now, we're going to switch over to TikTok, right? 
and thank you for subscribing and watching and uh, you know we're back to doing uh, more videos than we have because we've been really busy we had the jazz festival okay and there's a whole special episode of tortoise land I don't know if you know this Monica it's gonna be the reboot of the tortoise guy oh. October 1st okay mm -hmm. reboot tortoise guy 2.0 okay with our website with everything because because, you know, now we have the nonprofit too, and after doing this for a couple of years, we're refocusing on what is the core reason we're here, right? Okay, so we're, so check out that. It's an amazing episode. Now, what? let's go find, keep me on track, Monica. We're going to see if we can find Elongo, okay? Let's see. He was just here, remember? He was just here. Who's over there? Look at, that's, this is Delilah. I love Delilah, right? This is little Mario. Mario got lost in the park. You guys don't know the story unless you join Patreon, okay? Got lost in the park for, oh my God, scary, huh? For half a day. Oh no. That's never happened. Uh, thank <laughs> God. Little girl, little girl, we got her back, right? Where did Longo go? Ah, uh, let's go see. Let me go see, okay? There's Dent. I'm uh, not Dent. There's Punk, right? Oh, look who's over here, too. This area people don't know about, okay? Come on over here, Monica, right? So we got a lot of cool things about Tortoise Land, right, Monica? That mm -hmm. people don't know. They don't realize, yeah, we're a small facility, but we're pretty cool. Check out here. Look who's on the other side. This is an area where the tortoises can dig. So like I said, we've gotten comments, you know, like, hey, the tortoises need places to dig and that. Well, they have them, okay? We have three areas, see that? And there is where the little guys can go in and hibernate or just hide out, okay, and when they do. It could be a pain in the neck. Now, you see who's down here? Mm-hmm. Who's down here? This is white, everybody. Okay. So we have white and we have blue. Oh, let's do this. We have three tortoises that came from a gentleman named uh, Charlie. All righty. So I'm going to bring all three out. Okay. So we are a tortoise rescue, right? So tortoises come in, tortoises go out. Okay. All righty. So what happened last summer, right? What happened last summer, three tortoises came in. This is one, this is Nuvi. Nuvi loves to bite everybody, okay? But Nuvi's not as bad of a biter, that's not true, okay? Some desert tortoises is really territorial, okay? The Nuvi is territorial. There's another one over there we're gonna show you named uh, Sammy, who's biting everybody. So Sammy's always out front where we have the new desert tortoise habitats, okay? I'm always having to put him out front because he bites everybody and like bites. We can't have that. So Nuvi, okay, desert tortoise came from this great guy named Charlie, okay, who moved to Hawaii, found out about me, has, look at these guys, okay? So he raised these since they were all little. Now he didn't even know what species they were. He fed them two things, watermelon and romaine lettuce. And amazingly, look as great as they do, right? Okay, so look at this. So this is Nuvi. I got really dirty hands, so hold on. Don't let me forget about these t-shirts, okay? Hold on, okay? Oh, here's Elongo. That's, uh, that, is that Elongo? Is Let's it? See. No, no, that's, uh, this is uh, the oh, girl. Oh, it's the same. That's the girl, okay? It might be over here. Let's see real quick. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Let's see. Hi, buddy. You're okay. Nice. Huh? Come here. Right there, Blackie. No, I don't know where he is. We'll find him. Right. Hold on. See? Hold on, guys. All right. Also, if we have a minute, we could see if, if there might be some babies hatching on their own, not in the incubator. So I can't We're quite find any longer. Minutes. Huh? We're at 25. Okay. Let's see. What was I talking about over here? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we take a moment to breathe. Come on over here. Come on over here. Somewhere is Elongo, okay? And Elongo, uh, Tracy, if you're watching, so Elongo now is pretty big, right? And low to the ground. We'll find him. And uh, guess what? He outpunks punk, okay? It's the funniest thing. We'll find him, all right? He, he follows punk around because punk follows everybody around, right? Smacks him, smacks him, smacks him, smacks him, right? But he's not a biter. So I let him do it. That's because Tracy Wells said, why don't you leave him out? So I do. So now you get this cool elongated tortoise male who now follows this guy around and he smacks him. You know, he's like three times the weight. Now he doesn't hurt him, you know, but it's kind of like, how's that feel, pal? Huh? How's it feel? 
to be out punked by somebody, you know? Doesn't stop him from being a punk still, but it's pretty cool, right? <laughs> okay, so look at this. We talk about the territorial thing. Desert tortoise. When a desert tortoise shakes his head, watch. Right, newbie? Come on. Watch this, watch. Watch this, right? Let's see. Okay. They all was treated to corn on the cob. Now, I know what you're going to say. Corn on the cob is <laughs> it's just a very occasional treat. But no, no tortoise is going to say no to it. It's high protein. So, okay, so look at Here's our two box turtles, okay? These box turtles came with Nuvi, okay? So Charlie, who's quite a character, okay, raised these three guys uh, since guys and girls. Blue is a boy and white is a girl. And uh, he had put tape on them originally and paint. Okay, he didn't know. Charlie didn't know. Okay, um, so it's harmless. So look at how cool these guys are. Okay, look at the eyes. Right. So this is this is white. White is a boy. Now you look at the beak too. See that? That's not bad. This. So blue doesn't have any. See that? Blue. Blue's beak is totally fine. That's the way it should be. So so. Um, is blue male and the white is female? Yeah, blue is blue is female. Oh, blue's, blue's female and white is male. And these guys mate all the time, right? And the way they mate is off the hook crazy. There's, there's a bunch of videos out uh, on that stuff, so you can check it out, right? Look for a bizarre mating ritual. You're going to see. They mate unlike any species I've ever seen. You know, most species are like this, right? But, you know, box turtles, they have a hinge, right? So what happens with these guys is the boy hinges his, puts his legs there and on her in the hair and she latches tight and closes up and that allows him to go like this and get his tail to her tail where the sex are, you know organs are and they mate so he's upside down like this he can't let go because she clamps his legs in it's the crazy first time i saw it i separated him i thought he was dead <laughs> right i thought he was dead and i'm like oh my god i pulled him apart i called martha who's the expert and she's like no 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 they were mating right so the coolest thing so these guys are 36 years old because charlie had them for 35 years imagine that okay so these guys love worms and stuff What's that? We're at 28. We're at 28, okay? So let's see one more time. Can I find Elongo? Right? So we can see Elongo, right? Smacking. Let's see. Okay, this is Boss, everybody. So that we don't know where Elongo is. Now I want to show you what's happening with Boss. Watch the, watch the, watch the um, respiratory situation, okay? Mm -hmm. We've been, we've been um, having Boss come in to the vet twice a week, okay? Because Boss, um, there's a tortoise, came to us like three, four months ago. Named Boss because it's a girl. And when she first came, man, was she bossy, right? She just took charge, okay? And what happened since, you see that? Can you see Monica? She's got some liquid coming down right there. It's, can you see? Yeah, oh. I don't know if you, can you see that? Okay, well, if you can see, that's, uh, that's, that's like your tortoise having a cold, okay? It's a respiratory problem, and desert tortoise are really susceptible to it. So as soon as you see that, you have to get your tortoise, right? You have to get your tortoise isolated, right? You have to get them isolated if you have other tortoises, especially desert tortoises. you got to immediately pull them and separate them, okay? And so she's been going in for a while. She was really sick, okay? And she had her eyes closed. So we've been pumping her up at the vet with... With, with all kinds of fluids and, and actually feeding her, having her syringe fed uh, for months now. And guess what? She's doing great, okay? She's, she still gets antibiotic shots every five days, okay? And that's another reason why we could use your help. PayPal, Venmo, especially Patreon.com. If we can get a 1,000 people to give us a buck a month, and you know we're up to $200 a month now. That's tax deductible, everybody, okay? Seth so, is asking how... Allie Drifter has been. Allie Drifter's great. Allie Drifter is running around here. Oh, wait, I might have found Elongo. I don't know. Let's see. Allie Drifter is doing great. Allie Drifter was uh, almost uh, was uh, was going to be rehomed because Allie Drifter's ready to be rehomed. We rehomed tortoises here, right? That's what, part of what we do. And uh, and uh, somebody was gonna was interested. And let's see who's here. No, that's uh, this is uh, Shelly. Okay, the female. So Allie Drifter's good, right? 
I can get Ellie Drifter for you. We're at 30 minutes. All right, we're at time. So let's what? So we, we try to keep it to 30 minutes, everybody. Okay. So let me show you a couple. Oh, wait. I want to show you the t-shirts. Something to be really excited about. So the Lamert Jazz Festival. Unbelievable event. We had so we had the, the director here yesterday who is off the hook amazing. And she volunteers for the job, Monica. Okay. She does that every year. She loved us. Okay. So look what we have. And Monica's wearing one and I'm wearing one, right? So, okay, on our website, the tortoise tortoiseland.org. Coming soon, within the next few weeks, you can get Tortoise Land t-shirts, okay? Every dollar goes to help us out, okay? Alrighty? So look at that. We got different colors. My favorite. Monica, what do you got? I have the black. Right? That was my favorite. Right. All right. You can't You can't beat the black. We were all wearing the black. But look at See? Colors are fun, too. So we got orange, right? And we got burgundy, okay? We got the blacks, and we got, this is a pretty, pretty, pretty sharp too, right? Pretty nice, right? So soon we're going to have them on for Tortoise Guy as well, okay? And so you'll be finding out about that, righty? Okay, so here we go. I want to show you two cool things, and then we got to go, okay? So, okay, when, 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 when the director of the Jazz Festival came yesterday, we showed her something really amazing, somebody really amazing. Oh, look at it. Come here. Upside down Molly Brown. Who is this, everybody? You want to talk about a gift to Monica? Do you know about this? This is the newest baby, correct? Jazz. Yeah. Right? Yeah. He was the baby at the Jazz Festival. Right? That's right. Yeah. So how about this, everybody? So this is Shy Girl's 64th kid. 64th kid. How about that? And so what's amazing about this story, and why did we name this little one Jazz? Because we took that incubator, we took one of the incubators to the Jazz Festival. Right? There was oh, the, a bug. The bug, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we took the incubator to the Jazz Festival. We took the third incubator that those eggs have never hatched. They're three months past due. I'm like, they're never going to hatch. You know, I had unplugged it even. So I'm like, let's take that to the Jazz Festival so we can show people what tortoise eggs look like. We can talk about global warming, why that raising temperature of the earth matters because they're, they're being born all female reptiles okay so we brought that there we have it open baby's never gonna hatch from that ever in a million years right so we do that I throw it in the back of the car after a 16 hour day at the festival I leave it in the front I forgot about it in the front yard for five days unplugged right oh right here okay and guess what on the fifth day I'm like you know what I got to get that incubator I take it over here because I'm gonna empty it and who's hatching out? Oh, I didn't hear. I didn't know that. Who's hatching out? Mm. Unbelievably. Oh. Okay. After being unplugged three months late, okay, and I'm baking in the sun basically out front, out comes miracle little baby named Jazz. Mm -hmm. All right. So Jazz is the last baby because because there's no more left actually. Okay. So, you know, so this is the last baby. So when Diane Robertson came yesterday, honorary, you know, she, she met jazz and she's was jazzed. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're all jazzed. So here's our little miracle. Now we rehome tortoises, don't we Monica? Mm -hmm. We do. Look who's doing so good. There's boss. Alrighty. Right. Boss was so sick. Boss was so sick six weeks ago, people. I didn't think she was going to make it. So this is the testament to getting your tortoise into the vet, having a really good vet who knows what they're doing, okay? Getting this guy, girl immediately on antibiotics, having her syringe fed because she wasn't eating. Now that all costs money, again, right? But we saved her life, everybody, okay? So again, if you have a sick tortoise, you got to got to jump on it and take care of it, right? You can always reach out to us, the tortoise guy, Kevin at gmail.com. I'm not an expert, but I do know a bunch and can help you out, right? So guess what, everybody? Monica says, time up. Hey, who's coming? Allie Drifter. And Tracy Wells is Tracy! here. <laughs> Tracy. Okay, Tracy, look, this is for you. I wanted to show you, okay? Two things. Here's Allie Drifter, and we're going to show you punk, Tracy, okay? And maybe... Maybe, let's see here. Oh, we found, all right, you're in for a treat, Tracy Wells, okay? Let's see if we can make it happen, okay? Hold on, okay? Let's see, boom, who do we got here, okay? All right, everybody, and Tracy Wells, um, Punk has met his match. Where's Punk? There's Punk, okay? Tracy Wells, okay? Punk has met his match, are you ready? Let's see. Okay. 
uh, ask Tracy. Tracy, have you been watching any of the videos? E Longo versus Punk. Okay, so Punk, as everybody knows, is our Mediterranean menace, right? That smacks everybody around. Well, guess who follows Punk and smacks him around? And really smacks him so much bigger. Okay, but doesn't hurt him, but smacks him. Let's see if we can replicate the situation. You ready? Okay, so Tracy, it's the funniest she thing. She said, yes, I have. You've seen it, Tracy, huh? Yes. Yeah, all right, so watch, let's see, okay? Let's see. So... Let's just see what happens, okay? Is he gonna go for it? Is she gonna go for it? Right? <laughs> uh, not, no, he's not gonna go nope. for it right now, okay? It. it takes a while, right? It takes a while. Because he's not warmed up yet, right? He's not awake, he's not warmed up yet, okay? But Tracy, if you've seen it, it's pretty darn funny, right? So, so, right? The Mediterranean menace has met, has met his match, okay? Right there, all righty? Okay, and you, somebody, you just asked about Allie Drifter. Here's beautiful Allie Drifter. So Allie Drifter is definitely up for rehoming, okay? Right, and uh, if you're interested, the tortoise guy, Kevin at gmail.com, all right? Hey, so check out the video series that came out yesterday. It's just fun. We took the tortoises to the vet, eternity, and that, and also put out a video this morning about about uh, Blackie, Sammy, the desert tortoise, who's 80 years old, now chases Rocky and Piper around. Okay, <laughs> chases them around. So These guys, cute. you know, in some Clash of them. Clash of the Titans, says Marie. <laughs> right, it's right. Have you seen? It's pretty funny. I put a video this morning, right? And I swear, if the dog got a second closer, that that Sammy would bite him, right? <laughs> so here's Allie Drifter, and uh, we want to say, I want to say your prayers too for this little one, okay? So this is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put him under the warm water. This is Timo, everybody, and Timo's been struggling, okay? Timo's been struggling. Timo comes in and. Uh, twice a week and he's getting syringe fed as well okay and uh, so he's just having troubles in life you know you know just like just like anything we have 49 tortoises babies over there and not everybody you know not everybody uh, but that's really good that means 48 out of 49 babies are super healthy right so we count our blessings so this one Timo is struggling a bit so what I do is I put him under warm water okay it wakes him up Pretty warm water, right? Really warm water, okay? Get him up, wake, you know, wake him up, okay? Want to get those eyes open, right? Come here, let's see. Did we get those eyes open? Can you see? Yes, you see the eyes? Mm -hmm. Yep, they're see? open. They're open, see that? Okay, so we're going to end today on just saying prayers for this little one because because this is little Timo. Timo's really been struggling, okay? Mm -hmm. Watch yourself there, right? So this little guy is struggling, goes in twice a week. That's why patreon.com backslash tortoise guy $1 a month, tax deductible. Help us help these guys. So, so Timo, prayers, and little teeny jazz. So little, help me, Monica. Little jazz. Little tiny jazz. Oh, this tiny jazz. Look at oh, right, right there. <laughs> right, doing really good. Plus Spunky, you know the littlest, the littlest next to this guy. Spunky's doing awesome too. Spunky's in here somewhere. All oh, right, here's no, right here. Okay, little Spunky. Okay, so everybody's doing really good. Everybody. Okay, prayers to this little one. And, well, this is jazz, not prayers, like a miracle, jazz and miracle guy. And uh, check out the videos. Guess what? Today, this afternoon, going to go pick up another African sulcata somebody's had for like 12 years. Luckily, not too big, so I can go get her. Okay? So, wow. so if you, you know, you're interested in the babies, the toys guy, Kevin, at gmail.com, you got to come here. We teach you how to take care of them. And, uh, but you got to know that it, within a couple of years, they're going to get big, right? And we're going to let you know that, right? This is Cruz digging away. So we're going to say, hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on TikTok next. Boom, right? <laughs> say that again. Wait, took that back? Where are we going? Oh, look at Monica. Show them your boots. <laughs>
Thanks for watching, everybody. Show them your boots, Monica. Oh, let me flip it around. Uh -huh. Yeah, let me show you. Boom. Look at that. Okay. Let's go like this. Moon boots, Monica. <laughs> Bam. Fashionista. <laughs> if I could wear a t-shirt like that, you know I would. <laughs> I do my best, right? Right? So listen, everybody. Flip it around for both of us. Okay? Right? Flip it around so both can be on camera. Okay. From Alley Drift Off and all the tortoises at Tortoise Land, we want to say thank you. And uh, please check out the videos, right? And we're rebooting Tortoise Guy. Uh -huh. Oh, thank you so much. What's that, Tracy? What did you say? Nice boots. Ah! <laughs> thank <laughs> I you, want Tracy. those boots, right? Uh, they'd be ruined in two seconds. <laughs> but we just want to say thanks for watching, okay? We're rebooting the Tortoise Guy, okay? Come October 1st. You're going to see that jazz festival, which is off the hook, okay? Yeah. And uh, stay tuned for also tortoiseland.org website. Keep checking it out. Bye, everyone. Marie, you're so awesome. Thank you. Bye, and Marie. Valley Drifter needs a good home. The Tortoise Guy, Kevin, at gmail.com. Boom.